Hello and welcome to this introduction to AutoChartist's Volatility Statistics. This is a small set of tools that gives the trader some useful insights into the past volatilities of an instrument. It enables you to get a better idea of the personality of the instrument in terms of its volatility. That helps when you want to figure out stop loss or take profit levels and it also helps to refine your personal strategy in terms of what are the best times for you to be trading. You may have been previously introduced to these tools, formerly known as power stats. Currently the volatility stats are available for instruments where you see a view analysis button just below the detail summary on the pattern display area. When you click this button it opens a pop-up window with three tabs. Each of these will be explained separately. Firstly there is the price range forecast. At first glance what you will most likely see is five green bars that are shaped almost like a trumpet with the first bar being the shortest and the last being the longest. These bars are the price ranges within which it is likely that price will be moving. The first bar represents only 15 minutes and that is why the expected price range is the smallest. The last bar is a whole day and over a whole day there is naturally expected to be a much larger price movement than over just 30 or 15 minutes. The probability that price will stay inside the green bar for a given time interval is 68%. It is important to understand that this graph is a forward-looking view taken at a specific point in time. That time is indicated just above the graph. So for example, on this particular graph it suggests that there is a 68% likelihood that the price will stay between 0.9441 and 0.9463 for the 15 minutes following 11 a.m. Similarly, there is a 68% likelihood that the price will stay between 0.9419 and 0.9848 from 11 a.m. for the next 4 hours until 3 p.m. as is illustrated by this block. So how do we get to a probability of 68%? Well, this is a very straightforward concept in statistics called a standard deviation. And it is a deviation away from the mean or the average. So what we've done was we've taken all the 11 a.m. candles for this symbol over at least the past six months, often more, and we have made a sample set of those observations and we've used a standard statistical formula to calculate the standard deviation. Now, I don't want to get too technical, but with any sample set that follows a normal distribution, the probability that a new observation falls within one standard deviation on either side of the mean is 68%. Now, how is this useful to you? Well, you can very well imagine that if you knew the chances are 68% that the price will not be higher than this level by 11 a.m. tomorrow, you should not be setting your take profit higher than that if you want to be out of this trade before then. Or conversely, set your stop loss outside the green area if you want to increase the likelihood that you will stay in the trade for the duration of the applicable period. This view on the past volatility of an instrument at a given time gives you a realistic price region within which you can expect to trade. The next tab gives you a breakdown of price movement per hour. Unlike the price range forecast, this is not relevant to a specific time, but it looks at all hours of the typical trading day. Again, the green bars represent an average with a single standard deviation on either side of the mean. So here you are looking at an area of 68% probability as well. So at 2 p.m. my time, I can expect a 15 to 40 pip movement with a likelihood of about 7 out of 10. What is interesting about this graph is that it shows you at what time of day we have encountered the most volatility in the past. Often we see the most volatility around the times when the London and New York markets open for trading. If your personality profile is suitable for high risk and high volatility trading, then you would want to choose those times of day when there is the most volatility. If you are conservative, you may look for more consistency and trade at times when the markets are not quite so unpredictable. 
Similarly, the third tab gives you a view on volatility on a day of week level. We see that Sundays show very little movement, but remember that it's not really a trading day. We have the markets in the Far East opening while it's still Sunday for a short while in Europe and America. Wednesdays are often more volatile for forex traders as more positions are opened and closed to respectively benefit from or avoid the tripled swap rates that take weekends into account when there is no trading. In general, however, you won't see major differences in volatility from day to day. But remember that we are aiming to use every tiny probability that can give you a better chance at success. Trading is a game of chance and you need to stack the odds in your favor, no matter how small the difference. The volatility stats toolset will in the near future be moved to a more prominent position in the order chartist application, but the core functionality will remain the same. It is a great aid for when you are thinking strategically and in terms of probabilities. If you have questions about this or anything else, you know we like to hear from you. So send us your queries and comments to support at autochartist.com. I hope this was a useful introduction. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your trading.